you are now required to stay at home in Tennessee for at least the next two weeks. But how did the governor come to the decision to require this? News Channel 5's Eric Hill breaks down some of the data that led to this order. Nashville's usual rush hour stop and go traffic was all go on Friday afternoon. As COVID-19 restrictions put thousands of people in park. What we're seeing in the formation of urban areas uh, significant drop in, in traffic volumes. In fact, TDOT data shows there were about half as many cars on mid-state highways than there were this time last year. What we're seeing now in these volumes, it's definitely new territory. Traffic Operations Director Brad Freeze says the department's real-time radar data is usually used to monitor traffic. We normally use it for incident detection, use it to record travel times. But this week, when that downward trend shifted into reverse. Thank you for joining. Today Governor Bill Lee used it as a reason to upgrade his safer at home recommendation to a mandate. While safer at home measures and further restrictions on businesses showed a steep drop off in vehicle movement from March 13th through the 29th, data beginning on March 30th indicates that travel is trending upwards again. And that wasn't the only statistic that Governor Lee cited. He also mentioned a company called Unicast that uses data from cell phones to track movements. That data shows the same trends as the traffic and Unicast gave Tennessee a D minus for decreasing mobility. Unicast indicates the movement of Tennesseans is trending back toward pre COVID-19 levels. So now analysts are waiting to see if Lee's safer at home order will keep people at home. We'll see. I mean, we'll be monitoring that data daily. Uh, so we'll we'll see what the impact is in Nashville. Eric Hilt, News Channel 5.